What's up guys, it's Shane and Jocelyn here with another Q&A with S and J, the online business podcast where we answer your questions on YouTube and on our podcast. And uh, Jocelyn has our question for today. All right, today's question is from Kathy. It says, what are things I should be looking for when I'm analyzing my Facebook ads? How important are things like frequency, relevancy, score, etc.? What is the best way to improve on your Facebook ads? What do you think? Okay, so on your Facebook ads, um, relevancy score is very important. And the reason that is important is because Facebook is telling you whether or not people are engaging with your ads that are a part of the target audience that you have set. So it's relevant to the people that are seeing the ad. That's why it's called relevancy. Not only is it good for your audience, it's also good for your ad spend. So if your ad is particularly relevant, Facebook is going to show it to more people. So that one is very important. The frequency is important, but it's not as important as the targeting and the relevancy. So the frequency just means how many times people in your target audience are seeing the ad. But if you're showing it to the right people, they shouldn't need to see it less, right? Than someone who's right. totally irrelevant, basically. But still, you're going to need some frequency. Usually when people just see something once, they might think about it. They might take action on it, but usually that's not going to happen. Usually they'll take action on it subsequent times after they see it the first time. So those things are important, but the thing that I would pay attention to the most really is how many people are engaging with it? How many yes. people have seen it? How many people are engaging with it? If it's anywhere 3 to 5% or higher, then it's probably a good ad. And that's for cold traffic is what we're talking about. I actually think it should be a little higher for warm traffic if they already know who you are. So, yeah, if you're in that zone, then probably your ad is an effective ad. If you're not there, if you're around maybe 1% is taking action on whatever it is that you want them to do, then probably it's not working so well and you need to change something. And that doesn't mean kill the ad. This is another mistake people make. People are like, oh, you know, I'm not getting a great click through. I'm just going to kill the ad. Well, why not split test the ad and change the headline to keep everything else the same or change the picture and keep everything else the same? You might be one variable away from making that ad a winner instead of a loser, okay? But just remember that targeting is always the most important. The creative can be just okay if the targeting is right. That's right. So usually, if you're not having success, it is a targeting issue, but not necessarily always. And at the end of the day, the two things that really, really matter on all advertising is your cost per click and your cost per conversion. Like, how much does it cost you to buy traffic compared to how much does it get you uh, uh, money in the bank, basically. So if you're if you're getting a dollar a click, okay, and you have a hundred dollar product, if it takes you a hundred and five clicks to get one sale, you spent a hundred and five dollars to make a hundred dollars. That's not what we want. What we want is, what if you're paying a dollar a click and your product is two hundred dollars, and it takes you that same hundred uh, people that clicked through to go through your funnel and buy something. You want to make more than you spend. That's that's the magic number. And it's it's not always just that product. Like we have a membership site. So if we have a membership site that's fifty dollars a month, what if it costs us a hundred dollars to get a to get a customer in ads? But our average customer stays six months. That's three hundred dollars. So we spend a hundred dollars to make three hundred dollars on average. So that's what you're looking for. Is am I getting people to click? How much does it cost me to get them to click? And then how much did I spend to get a conversion? That's what it all boils down to. And the frequency and the relevancy and the demographics, that all ties that together to make that you know price go down. All right, great question, Kathy. If you are interested in having us answer a question for you on the Q&A with S&J, you can head on over to fliplifestyle.com slash Patreon to learn more about how to do that. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, we have a podcast every Tuesday on iTunes, the Flipped Lifestyle Podcast. We would love to have you as a listener. And if you'd like to listen to, to more Q&A with S&Js, go to iTunes and subscribe to the online business Q&A with S&J. We've got dozens and dozens of these questions there, and I'm sure you can find the answers to your question on the show. Until next time, get out there, take action, flip your life. Bye. Would you like to ask Shane and Jocelyn a question about online business? Become a patron on fliplifestyle.com slash Patreon. Patrons get their questions answered each week and can be part of a monthly patron community live Q&A. Also, check out the Flip Lifestyle podcast where Shane and Jocelyn help entrepreneurs take their businesses to the next level.